Welcome to the Expositor Podcast with Dr. Stephen J. Lawson. Dr. Lawson is the founder and president of One Passion Ministries. The Expositor Podcast is focused on taking your preaching to the next level. Now, here's Dr. Lawson. Thank you for joining us for this podcast. I want to call this one my first sermon. I've been preaching for over 50 years now, which seems like almost the entirety of my life. And the first sermon that I preached, I was 18 years old, and circumstances, which I now know to be the sovereignty of God, threw me into this situation that I did not seek. And it really is the hand of the Lord that put me into preaching. Um, In high school, whenever I had my speech classes, I, I would all but break out in hives for the days preceding when I was to give my speech in front of the class. I remember my first speech was directions to the public library. And for that, I was in a panic. So I was saved when I was 17 years old and soon thereafter went to college. Um, And I was 18 years old. I played on the football team and there was a fellowship of Christian athletes, a weekend of champions. Uh, out in West Texas, and I was eager to be a part of that. And on Saturday, they announced that all the athletes, college athletes and professional athletes who had gathered together, football players, we would be sent out to different churches to speak. Well, that thought terrified me. And I was sent out into the middle of nowhere, a place called Fluvanna, Texas, I mean, it's like a grain elevator, a gas station, a post office, and it seems like that was about it. There was a Baptist church on one side of the road and a Methodist church on the other, and that particular Sunday, I was sent to the Baptist church. And when I walked in to the church, uh, the pastor said, we're so excited that you're here. Everyone's looking forward to, to hearing your sermon. And I said, no, wait. I was told all I would do is give a prayer, and I've never even prayed in public before. I mean, that was a huge step for me to even agree to give a public prayer. And the pastor said, well, everyone will be disappointed. And I said, well, I would never want to disappoint anyone. I've never given a sermon. I don't have a sermon. Um, All I have is a prayer in my mind, and I will do that. And so... He said, well, let's start the service. Well, I remember sitting there in the pew. It was a very small Baptist church. And when it came time for me to give the prayer, I remember the pastor introduced me. He said, Steve Lawson is playing football at Texas Tech, will now come to the pulpit. So I got up and walked to the pulpit, which seemed like 100 yards away which it wasn't, but as I made that march to the pulpit, I I was sweating bullets as it was just to offer a little prayer. And as I stepped up onto the platform and as he finished his introduction, he said, Steve Lawson will now bring the morning sermon. And he just smiled at me. And I was, I'm sure I was white as a ghost And he then stepped down from the podium, and I'm standing there alone behind this pulpit looking out into the eyes of these people without any thought of a sermon, without any notes. All I had was a New Testament, and that was a living Bible, which is not even a translation. It's just a very loose paraphrase. It had pictures of athletes in this New Testament Bible that I had. Uh, the, the point is, I didn't even hardly have a, a real Bible. And I'm standing there in the pulpit and now thinking, what in the world would I say? I grew up in a church where there was not biblical preaching, where there was not expository preaching. So I have no pattern to actually even follow. And so as I opened my Bible, the passage that just immediately came to my mind was in Hebrews 13, where the Lord says, I will never, never leave you nor forsake you. I had 
traveled a long ways from home to a college campus with well over 20,000 students. I did not know one single person when I went to school. And as I would lay in my bed at night and read through my New Testament, just clinging to spiritual strength and to draw from the Lord, um, the, really the stamina to press on. Um, I had come across that verse, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I knew I was there all alone um, at, in college without knowing anyone, but the Lord was with me and the Lord has come with me. And so that was the, pas the only passage I knew to turn to. So I turned to Hebrews 13. I've never heard an expository sermon in my life but it just seemed to me to be the natural thing and the simple thing to do would be to read the passage, explain the passage, and then apply the passage. So that's what I did. And in reality, that's what expository preaching is. So after a few remarks of being glad to be here, I read Hebrews 13, I will never, never leave you nor forsake you, and then began to open up what I could perceive to be the meaning of that passage. I had no commentary. I had no study Bible. I, I haven't studied anything. It just seemed to be the obvious thing for me to say that no matter where you go, if you're a Christian, the Lord is with you to support you and to help you and to encourage you. And that the Lord is, is, is always at our side. And as I began to say this, some of the men in the church began to mumble, amen, amen. Well, I've never been in a church that, where people would amen the preacher. I thought they were upset with me. And so when I heard that, I thought it was a little bit of a pushback. I kind of paused and let the dust settle and maybe even take a step back and then start back up again. And I would hear it again, amen. And I realized they were actually affirming what I was saying. And so I felt encouraged or propelled to then make application that no matter where you go, if you go out into your ranch, the Lord is with you. If you go out into your field, the Lord is with you. If, if you are in your home and taking care of your children, the Lord is with you to be for you everything that you need his help and his support and his encouragement to be. Well, after a few more amens, I brought the message to a conclusion. And I remember after it was over, stepping out of that pulpit, the feeling was so different than stepping into that pulpit. I was terrified as I stepped into the pulpit. And as I stepped out, I felt such a sense of pleasure, almost like Eric Little said in, in the movie Chariots of Fire, when I run, I feel his pleasure. Well, when I preached that day, I felt the Lord's pleasure that I was doing something for the Lord of eternal value that in which I felt like a round peg in a round hole. And so that was my first sermon. And I was, after that, I was so eager to do it again. And from there, I would start a, a youth ministry, a high school ministry, just so I would have people to preach to. As I think back on that, it's the sovereignty of God that just put me into really the starting lineup that day. It was the sovereignty of God that put me into that pulpit. It was nothing that I sought. It was what the Lord did. And perhaps that can be an encouragement to you, or perhaps you can relate to that as you consider what the Lord will call you to do and how you are to invest your time and your life. Well, if you're already a preacher, perhaps it would be an encouragement to reflect back on your first sermon and how the Lord was with you as you delivered your first message. Well, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to our next opportunity.